Willie G. Mosley is the senior writer for Vintage Guitar Magazine and news editor emeritus for the Tallahassee Tribune. He's also the author of 15 books, and I guarantee you that his latest is his best yet. Why? Because it's called Basses and Guitars, the Huckabee Collection. Please welcome Willie G. Mosley. Willie, great having you here, my friend. This has been an exciting thing. I didn't write the book. I just got to watch you put this book together. It's a collection of photos and stories of the guitars that I've been collecting for 50 years. I consider this to have been a collaboration, though, even though I handled the text part and the photo part. Well, it was so much fun. You taught me things about the guitars that I have owned that I just simply did not know, the technical stuff. But you delved into the stories, which I think is what makes the book fun, even if you're not a guitar player. Well, it, it was the thing about doing the research, a lot of your guitars, you know, are American made and American made guitars are only about 10% of the market now. But it's a lot of fun doing research going that far back. And the definitive example is your Pencrest 1580. Yeah. It was your very first uh, electric guitar. Going through those old catalogs, uh, Penny, Sears, Montgomery Ward, Spiegel, even Western Auto ads sometimes. Yeah. That's a time warp and a nostalgia trip, and it certainly was enjoyable. And, and most of us uh, who are this age, the baby boomers, Beatles were the ones who turned us on to music. And we all wanted to be the fifth Beatle. I certainly did. I don't know why I never made it, but I didn't. Um, <laughs> but I wanted an electric guitar, and we all had to have guitars. Now we're at the age where we're we want to collect those guitars that we never could afford when we were teenagers. So vintage guitar as an industry is huge. It's uh, time warp type stuff for us. They're time warp machines for people like you and me. The Beatles on Ed Sullivan was, that did it for a lot of people, particularly wimps like me. It was, for me, it was, uh, uh, you know, wow, here's a, a way to meet girls besides being a jock. You can uh, play in a band. <laughs> And we took advantage of that as much as we could. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you as far as getting into bands and, and trying to, because seeing that and hearing that performance on Ed Sullivan was uh, an eye-opening experience and an ear-opening experience. Because you mm. never got, forgot the sound of those screaming teenage. Uh, Absolutely. Girls. And they, a lot of us are caught, like I said, in, a, in sort of a, a time warp. I'll be 73 years old next month, and I'm still trying to figure out the real words to Louie Louie. <laughs> <laughs> we all are, Willie. We all are. We brought three of the guitars that are in the book and in my collection uh, that I keep here in Nashville. I think there's like 70 guitars or 70-something in the whole collection that all of them are here and pictures and stuff. But let's talk about people see me play the Rickenbacker, that red bass guitar. I play it most of the time when I'm playing on the show. And that's a fun guitar to play. Well, the three that you have there are sort of a microcosm of how bass, uh, electric bass has evolved since the first one was production successful model was the Fender Precision reduced in, I mean, introduced in 1951. But uh, the Rickenbacker, well, and by the way, this is your free sample chapter, ladies and gentlemen, because there's a separate chapter on those three utility instruments right there. But the Rickenbacker was also a, a California product that came around in the, in the 50s. And it was a little bit unique because it's what's called a neck through instrument. The bass neck and the middle of the body are all, all one contiguous piece of wood. And the sides of the body are glued onto it like wings. That gives it a piano-like sound, almost, uh, particularly if you're using a, 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 a pick with, with, that, with that particular model. And, you nailed it, Governor, when you said in the book, you know, that nothing else sounds like them. Yeah, they're, they're pretty special. The one in the middle is uh, a Tobias bass made here in Nashville at the Gibson Cup Custom Shop several years ago. CEO at the time, Henry Juskowitz, presented that guitar to me. I was the only sitting governor in America that was playing bass guitar in a rock and roll band. He thought I ought to be playing one of his instruments, so he presented that one to me. And it's been fun. Tobias is a, is a brand that exemplifies how the bass evolved over the, uh, the last few decades. It was founded in 1977, and uh, Gibson bought Tobias in 1990. Mm -hmm. uh, that is also a neck-through instrument, but it's got uh, several layers of walnut and purple heart wood, and that is a figured maple cap on either side of, of the body. Now, 
that also has something called active electronics, which is a battery-powered circuitry that's on the inside that helps you enhance your tones a little bit better, help you sound even better. We're gonna run out of time. I just wanna mention quickly, that third guitar is one that was handmade and it was uh, custom made by Pat Williams in California. He makes all the guitars for Peter Cetera, formerly of Chicago. And uh, Peter Cetera saw me play on the Jay Leno show with Kevin Eubanks in the band, thought I did okay and had Pat Williams make that guitar for me. So that's a very special, precious instrument. And those kind of stories, you know, that's what I said. I think what you captured in this book is that it's the stories, it's the human connection. It's not just the physical instruments. It's what makes people tick. And I think that's so exciting. I love the book, obviously, but I, I really have found that people that don't even play guitar have told me, boy, that's a fun book to read. So I know that, uh, you know, again, I'm not the author of it, so I can pitch it <laughs> as a great book, and I hope people will. You can find Willie G. Mosley's great new book, Basses and Guitars, the Huckabee Collection. You can get it at the very best booksellers, or just go to Huckabee.tv. You will find links to get the book online. I don't know how busy you are, but since you're clearly slacking off watching YouTube videos, you probably got the time to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and the like button. That way you get updates on new videos.